What's going on guys, we're back with a brand new video. In today is a bit of a different video, I'll just be going over the most controversial rule currently in the AFL, which is the new stand on the mark rule. You can't move, you can't move laterally, you have to just stand still, put your arms up in the air and swing them around. And sometime even you get a 50 for that. But I'll just be going over some of the, you know, what my thoughts and how I reckon it's been changing the game. The patterns I've noticed over the first... Um, four practice matches in the uh, Amy series and even some of the practice matches that weren't televised last week that I feel like are completely changing the way the game is played. So before we get into it, make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe. We're like five subscribers away from 500, so let's try to hit that uh, today or tomorrow. It'll be absolutely amazing. So thanks for that and let's get straight into the video. So the one difference that I'm seeing is that the game is a lot more high scoring. Like a game between two bottom sides uh, yesterday in the practice matches. And I know I'm just talking about practice matches, but I'm not really, you know, taking into consideration, you know, what's actually going on. Like I'm considering like how the game is played. Usually the game style doesn't change much from, you know, when you're playing in the preseason to when you're getting in the game. They just get probably more physical and all that stuff. So a game between North and Hawthorne. Um, you know, finished in the 120 versus 81. Like, usually bottom sides don't score that much. It's because this, how much the game's being opened up now. And it's mostly by, you know, the halfbacks and um, the wingers that are really changing the way I'm looking at the game. Like, this game, one of the top, like, uh, disposal getters were Tom Phillips, who was the number one ranked player in the ground. And if you watch that game, he was just getting handball receives off anyone running, you know, and is opening up the game and like creating scoring opportunities for Hawthorne. And then we look at the Cats vs. Eston game. Uh, Jordan Clark, a wing half back, is the leading ranking player on the ground again, gathering 21, 29 disposals and 10 marks. And then the pattern continues. We go to, we go, this is the biggest example of it. We go to the Richmond Tigers and Jaden Short, a half back, gets 43 possessions. Now, as soon as I watch this game, I'm like, yeah, this is, this is how the AFL is getting played now. The, you know, the wingers are getting, a, wingers and half backs are like the most important position in the AFL right now. Obviously, you know, the midfield, the midfield for the past few years has been the most important position on the ground. Or even the key defenders, I mean the key forwards. But right now, the half, if you have a, you need a, an elite half back um, and wingers to be able to actually open up the new game style. You, and it's more of a skillful game now than ever. Um, like when I was watching this Collingwood versus Richmond game, the way that, like, it, the only reason Richmond won this game is because of their, their footy skill. It's more, it, the game is getting literally more skillful now. You need to be a good kick of the footy. Um, you know, you need to be able to run, you need to be able to be like almost a natural footballer. It seems like the athletes that come into the AFL are getting almost exposed now because they're not up to the natural football skill. And then for the fourth game of the Amy series, the first game that pretty much lit everyone's eyes up about this new rule was Carlton versus um, St. Kilda. And they kicked like 13 goals in the first quarter combined. Like... That is absolutely ridiculous, and of course the pattern continues with uh, the two, one of the two best players on the ground being Jack Sinclair and Brad Hill, both wing half backs that absolutely opened the game open and pretty much showed like how the St Kilda actually play football, and this is why I reckon Brad Hill could actually be in the All Australian conversation after I had a really poor year, but the way the AFL is getting played right now with this new rule, it is literally like Brad Hill's dream. He's loving football right now. Uh, so I'll be keeping an eye out for that. And Jackie Sinclair, he's been out of form for his whole career, has always been, you know, in the, the struggles. We got got 28 disposals, and I know, you know, it's only the preseason, but the the way he was getting his disposals will most likely continue during the season by, you know, being, you know, just getting the uncontested footy. Obviously, I'll probably clamp up on the season, but this is just, you know, after watching every Amy series game so far, watch every game, we're making, you know, a bit of a recap at the end of it. But this is absolutely crazy to think of what's actually happening to the game. Um, and give me your thoughts in the down below about this new rule. Do you hate or love the new rule? Honestly, at first I actually hated it. But now by how, like, the game is actually, like, good to watch. Like, 
so like even the poor sides, you're like, geez, this is actually interesting to watch because just the scoring just gets wide opened up. I saw Kane Corns read a little bit of an article saying of how much uh, he reckons it's boring that the other games are high scoring now because they're just it's, it's easy. I don't know what Kane Corns is on about because I've been loving every single Pracky match so far. Uh, it's been you know high scoring, interesting, fast paced. I absolutely love it. Because now they can like go around on the mark and they can get the ball deeper, more scoring opportunities. Uh, it's harder for defenders to defend now, but you know that just means they need to get better. The defenders need to get better, and the midfield you know needs to keep that pressure on when they can. So that's just my opinion on the new stand on the mark rule. Drop in the comments what you think about this new stand on the mark rule. At first I hated it, now I love it. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe, and thanks for watching.